These are sensors. It's big, it's heavy, but it's helping map out what the aftermath could look like when the big earthquake hits the West Coast. These are used for additional uh, really targeted data collection. It's an ocean bottom seismograph, or OBS for short, one of the many sensors that was used to gather data in a recently published scientific study. That study was aimed at mapping out the complex seafloor along the Cascadia subduction zone. It's really very new science. Some of John Cassidy's Earthquakes Canada colleagues helped out in the American-led study, which found that the subduction zone is made up of at least four segments. Understanding uh, how the structure varies along the margin can help us to identify areas where you might expect the, the most slip, strongest shaking. The four segments were each divided by the depth and dip, but the segment that's catching the most attention is the one closest to us between Vancouver Island and Washington State. Researchers say this could be the most devastating section. It has the highest destructive potential, and it's because of its particular geometry, it's a very flat segment, and we think it's also smoother than the other segments. A flat and smooth surface means when the big one hits, that segment could slip down further, creating powerful tsunamis. These models also were really important for understanding uh, the potential for tsunami generation and where you might see the largest waves being initiated. The West Coast is long overdue for a large earthquake. The last megaquake we saw was back in 1700 when a magnitude 9 shook the island. Finding out when it'll happen again is one thing, but this finding helps create a better risk assessment of what that damage could look like. They run models where they initiate an earthquake rupture in one region and then they see how far it propagates based on, uh, you know, th those their starting parameters. Cassidy says this is still a new area of research and there's still more to learn. But he says it's further proof that we need to be ready for when the shaking begins.